Starting place. So if you, if one was doing, um, you know, uh, a a suspenseful, um, a suspenseful kind of uh, music bed leading into, you know, a scary sequence, you are probably going to look first and foremost. Well, what would you do? There's a number of elements to this. We'll come to the synths later because I mean the synths are are really fundamental to it actually. Uh, Let's have a look at strings to start with because that's another one where you can... I mean, the, let's get some of the cliches out of the way first of all. Harmonics. You hear all these all the time, yeah? Doesn't mean they're not still useful. You know, you can run, you can run that. That's perfectly good. Um, a lot of harmonics samples actually are really, really noisy. This is just an old east-west one, and it sounds great. And then against that, you can put other things. Uh, like... Uh, string clusters. Okay, hang on, let's just get this going. I don't know why this isn't going. Good. It's not very interesting. Um, so, uh, w one thing I do quite like doing, actually, is if you have a fixed note like that, and then you have another one which you can pull, so you can make the pitch run up and down against it, so that it's kind of beating against it. That works pretty well. Um, the, uh, but let's obviously, you know, uh, getting another of the cliches out of the way is. Two types of tremolanda. There's the normal tremolanda, which is this, and and sol uh, ponticello, which is um, played um, much nearer the uh, the bridge, so it's uh, it sounds uh, much thinner and 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 raspier. These they still work, and they will f again form part of your armory. Um, half tone trills. Difficult things to live without. Um, what you will find in a number of libraries are um, effects. Let's see if I can find one here. Like. Things like this, which. This is Symphobia. Quite useful, quite again, but things you've heard a number of times. One thing which does crop up quite a lot um, and I mean, it's, a, it's again a harmonic thing. Uh, if I just take a. Um, the umpa umpa thing, sir. So. That, you know, it's it, the Simpsons esque one. The, the, the full Simpson thing does, goes down a. Goes down a, a what is that? It's an augmented fourth, isn't it? So that's D to A flat. Dun dun dun, etc. 
but so um, the umpa thing still works and it's my choice of piano i'm not going for a motive piano i'm going for a sort of honky tonk piano it something about it is more conducive to comedy. It depends uh, so much what's going on in the, in the picture. Um, so it is hard to do a sort of generic piece of comedy, but where shall we start? Okay. Let's start with that. Um, now, all I'm doing there really, it's very, it's a kind of variation on the umpa thing with a little semitone movement on from the G up to the A flat and back. Um, okay, what would you stick with that? Now, the classic thing which you should probably try and avoid are things like I don't know, xylophones and things, um, because it would just sound too. <laughs> you know, that might have been great in 1963, but it's kind of had its moment. And it's things like that, little sounds like that, which you, if you put that in, um, that would put people off, I think, nowadays. I can't think of many cl my clients who would buy that. Um, okay, let's put a little bit of bass underneath it. Simple, single line, a single line, not overwhelming it. Um, a common effect is, okay, uh, is the suspended second. So if you take a chord of uh, A minor, which is A, C, and E, okay, now raise that um, bottom tone to a B, so it goes B, C, E, play them all together, and then drop that B back down to the, to the A again. So it's a suspension. So this is where we're starting. A lot of, and another, th a couple of things. If you, uh, if you can avoid using a click track, it makes it easier, because the things which are going to make this music emotive are sometimes the, 
the, the ebb and the flow of the tempo. If you stick strictly to, if you try to do it, it's too fast anyway. So let's take tempo down to 80. You're constantly wanting, actually, to move backwards and forwards against the tempo. So just turn off the click and just play. I often just play and then like that and then see where it takes me. And if that happens to work, and you know, let's say for the sake of argument it does, um, I can add some things to it, but I'm going to be very simple in this. I mean, if you're working with live instruments, you're going to have to line up with a click track eventually. Um, but it's almost better to get it working uh, and then to overcome that technical issue rather than to have something which just doesn't work. Um, so you look for a... This is a very old sample. This is uh, Espressivo strings from Sonyvox. I've probably had this 10 years, probably more actually. So you add a simple... Um, alternatively, you can go with solo woodwind. That uh, is a very common thing. Now, to that, you can then you, we need to add other things, obviously. So we're going to add some. <laughs> That's sounding all right already. Um, next, I would having, I mean, I could play around with that and make it a lot tighter and a lot nicer and a lot, all, all kinds of other things. But for the sake of argument, that's as good a place to start as any. So there's a certain, so we've got a fast, consistent um, ostinato going on. We've got a certain amount of un, sort of unpredictability in the rhythmic part in the bass. Um, all those things add to tension and pace. A very important part, okay, now let's go and look at um, uh, percussion. Um, a very important part of the percussion is to look at it like you would string section or anything else as, as, as the top, middle and bottom. And you don't want the low parts to go too fast uh, and you need to look at it as an arrangement, as a number of different... Um, let me try and find some relatively straightforward sounds. Uh, I don't want to use too many massively esoteric sounds. Um, so if we use epic frame drum, eight DO uh, Uh, 
I mean, the, so I mean, that's, it doesn't sound bad. It's already starting to sound like action. Um, there's a number of, let me just start again with that. You need to look at what's there already. So what are we going to do? Are we going to, uh, are we going to use, okay, if we find a uh, Tyco, find a Tyco. So it's low, it's big, we don't want to hit play it too fast, so we're going to use it just on accents. So let's, have a, let's play it while watching what we've played in on the bass part before, so the two tie up. Heroes often survive on suspended um, fourths. So that's quarter C, C, E, G, raise them um, the third to the fourth, so it goes C, F, G. You know, this is traditional um, superhero territory. Um, right, what was I doing? I got d distracted. Ah, oh, I know, I'm trying to work out where it's going. Oh. It can go... It starts on uh, this augmented fourth. then drops to an F, so it can go to B flat. Okay, let's go to B flat. Um, so I'm going to find my timp. I'm going to have a long, slow timp roll. I'm not going to do a big build here. I'm doing a one of those. Move that later by about three beats. This is why. That's all right. Um, and a gentle gong hit. So we want quiet power is what we're going for here. We're not doing a big crescendo and all that. We're doing quiet, discreet, vroom, like that. That's what I'm looking for. Now, what gong am I going to use? I'm going back to the old east-west one, because it's just lovely. Super, super sound, really... Re it's an amazing sounding, and it just goes on and on and on. That'll do. Right, we're going to add bit of a bass drum in there, um, just on that hit, boom. But it's going to be a, again, it's going to be quite soft. I've got a special Spitfire one which I use. Okay. When I'm writing, again, I'm sticking to simple, simple, simple old generation sounds. I can go through and improve this. I can replace all these older sounds, like that trumpet. I may well replace with something more sophisticated, which sounds uh, better. But it's just for when you come to writing, um, and that's why I use this Espressivo strings from Sonivox. It's very, very simple. There's no round robins, and there's very little expression in it. It's just... It's got a natural shape to it, but it makes it much easier when you're writing. It's 
not too shabby. 